line out, Maggie. Another uh, iconic part of the game of rugby, uh, a natural restart. So when the ball is kicked to touch, that's the way that we restart the game. Most teams, what they tend to do is start with usually eight people in a line out, one person throwing it in, seven people receiving. And again, it's very technical. So there's a lot happening during a, a line out. So it's about really accuracy, isn't it? It's about the guy throwing the ball in. It's about the, the you know, the timing of the of the lift. You know, you don't quite get the timing right. You've got to have that stability in the air. Definitely, it's so hard. So what you've got is your two lifters, well, effectively they're your pillars, and they basically try and get a second row up in the air. And it's you can be at really big high heights. I mean, I'm quite a short person, so I get lifted sometimes. And when I get lifted, you're looking about six foot. So imagine effectively falling if you don't trust your two lifters. What's really get great about the line out is that there is a lot of trust there. There's a lot of emphasis on actually I'm going to jump and just do my job and the lifters are going to do their job and just hold me up. Well I think it's one of the most iconic areas of the game and I'm sure throughout the whole of, of the tournament we'll see some fascinating line-out calls. Definitely I think it's going to be quite exciting. A team can effectively win on the set piece and the line-out is very key to that. So let's take a look at a real-life example. The aim is for the hooker to throw the ball into the line as straight as possible to his teammates. Then the rest of the England forwards will get in and drive the ball forward. Now you've learned the ins and outs of the line-out. It's definitely not a dance. <laughs>